everybody. I'm Melissa and welcome back to cloudmom.com. This is month seven with your baby. Also month seven with my baby, Bracy. Bracy is now 30 weeks old. Yet, in terms of his corrected age, since he was a preemie and he was born 10 weeks prematurely, he is 20 weeks old. So in some ways, he's closer to a five month old baby than he is to a seven month old baby when it comes to developmental milestones. At seven months, most babies will not see their pediatrician. Bracey did see his pediatrician because he is a preemie. At this appointment, Bracey's pediatrician measured his height and his weight. He took the measurement for the circumference of his head. He checked his ears, he checked his throat, and he assessed him for his responsiveness. He looked at the strength of his back, looked at how he was turning his head back and forth, and he even put him into tummy time. The doctor was thrilled with his progress, as was I. Between six months and one year, weight gain for babies slows down a little bit. Most babies double their birth weight by around five to six months of age and triple it by the end of year one. At his seven month checkup, Bracey weighed 6.3 kilos or 13.86 pounds, up from 1.490 kilos at birth or 3.3 pounds. So he's gained 4.9 kilos or 10.6 pounds from birth. By seven months, many babies are holding their heads and necks up very securely without wobbling and are turning their heads fully at least 180 degrees. Many babies are rolling from stomach to back and then from back to tummy. Some babies can get to a sitting position from their tummy and some are even able to start to stand up while holding on to something. Some babies are starting to creep, crawl, or cruise. The average age for babies to crawl is between six and seven months. Since the amount of time babies spend in tummy time varies greatly, some babies won't crawl until as late as nine months. By seven months, your baby will get stronger at holding their own bottle and at playing with their own hands and feet. What better toys could you have? Many babies can pass objects from hand to hand and some can even rake for and reach and grab onto objects. Practice doing this with your baby, encouraging them to grab and to hold on to as many things as you can think of, even doorknobs as you're walking around the house. You'll find your baby doing this to you all the time, grabbing your necklace, grabbing your shirt, and ouch, grabbing your hair. Seven month old babies can see much better than they did even a few months ago, and you'll notice them observing their greater surroundings with a higher level of interest. Your baby will start smiling at you from further away, including when you enter the room. Seven month old babies can visually digest a greater array of colors and more complex patterns. Read books with large, brightly colored pictures and patterns to your baby. A good habit to get into is to read a little bit to your baby each time before you put them down to sleep. By seven months, a lot of babies are babbling frequently enunciating sounds such as ba ba and da da. You might hear your baby pulling in consonants as they begin to make these sounds. Although babies at this age do not draw the link between sounds and words and meanings, they are developing a really important awareness when it comes to language that when they emit sounds, other people respond. So as your baby babbles at you, talk back to your baby as if you're having a real conversation using as animated facial expressions and intonations as you can. This back and forth of sounds and expressions constitutes your baby's first experience of language. In terms of hearing, between seven to 12 months, many babies will develop an awareness of their own name. They will look in the direction of certain sounds. They will respond when spoken to. They will respond to simple requests like come here. They will look at things you talk about and they will try to repeat sounds. We've noticed Bracy doing this a lot with hi. When we say hi Bracy, hi, hi, we can actually look at him and we can see him appearing to try to enunciate that sound. It's really a miracle. Hi. 
including your baby in all your everyday activities by narrating. Every single thing you do remains a great activity. Reading books and playing with blocks and large stackable toys and describing the colors to your baby and different forms and structures is also a great early activity. Tummy time remains a must. Continue to practice sitting with your baby. You can try holding up your baby and encouraging them to put some weight on their feet and even sort of hoist them carefully by putting your hands underneath their armpits, encouraging them to increasingly put weight on their feet. And this is a great way to develop a little bit of an early sense of what it feels like to walk. If your baby has been taking solid foods now for a month, at seven months, you can slightly expand the repertoire of foods that you're giving to your baby. My doctor recommended that I introduce multigrain cereal with gluten, yogurt, meat, and a wider variety of fruits and vegetables. He also said that I could add a fourth feeding by mixing cereal into Bracey's final bottle or by giving a little bit of cereal at the end of the day. A lot of people ask themselves how much solids babies this age should be consuming and this really varies. It's generally recommended that seven month old babies have around four to nine tablespoonfuls of cereal, fruit, or vegetables, and one to six tablespoonfuls of meat, chicken, or another protein. You can spread these meals out between three meals. My doctor recommended four. As I described in last month's video, my biggest tip when it comes to solids is to give them milk first, especially in the morning, and especially if you're breastfeeding. I breastfeed Bracey first in the morning and before his other meals, then I give him his meal and then if he still seems a bit hungry before his nap, I give him a little bit more breast milk. This is really helpful because I find that he breastfeeds better when it's on an empty stomach and when he sits down for the solids portion of the meal, he's not as fussy as he would be were he to be starting that portion of the meal on an empty stomach. Once Bracey started solids about a month ago, I started to worry about how much breast milk he appeared to be getting because it seemed to be a lot less. His morning nursing session was really good, but during the other nursing sessions, I found him getting really distracted, eating very quickly, and it struck me that he was really filling up on the solids and not getting enough breast milk. I talked to my pediatrician about this and he assured me that as long as Bracey's getting between around 16 to 24 ounces of breast milk a day, he's okay. This information came as really welcome news to me because I've been having a lot of issues with Bracey getting very distracted while nursing. In the morning, he tends to nurse very, very well on one side. Then he burps. By the time he gets the other side, he's already very distracted. And that has remained the case during the other nursing sessions that I've had for the remainder of the day. So what do I do? Number one, I've gone back to really feeding him very frequently in my nursing chair with the door closed, trying to keep the environment very quiet and free of distractions. I try to just sit there and be patient and wait for him to come back to the breast. I burp him and I wait. And usually when I do this, I'm able to get even a few more sips. Another thing that I do, and this is gonna seem sort of wacky, is hold Bracy up. Usually for the first sight is okay, but I hold Bracy up and while he's eating, I stand up and I gently, slowly start to turn around, like walking around with the baby. And this way he's looking around and he seems less stir crazy because I think what's happening to him with the nursing, which is something that happened with all my other babies, is that they get very curious about the outside world and they don't want to just be staring inwards at your torso as much as you might hope that's an interesting thing to look at so they want to be looking out to the outside world so one thing you can do as i suggested is try to make sure your baby has something visual that they can focus on either by holding up a toy this way or by twirling your baby around as you hold them in breastfeed so with all that said here's a schedule for breastfeeding babies who are also taking solids at seven months. 7 a.m. breast milk, 11 a.m. breast milk, and then a protein or meat and vegetable puree. 3 p.m. breast milk followed by a fruit puree. 7 p.m. breast milk followed by a multigrain cereal. 11 p.m. breast milk followed by a bit of cereal or you can mix cereal into a bottle. When it comes to formula feeding, seven month old babies should be having formula about four to five times a day and they should be consuming about six to eight ounces per feed. Again, 
this varies. But just as is the case with breast milk, you'll see that the quantity of formula that your baby consumes will decline a bit. With that said, here's a schedule for formula feeding a seven month old baby who is also eating solids. 7 a.m. bottle followed by a nap, 11 a.m. bottle followed by a vegetable and protein puree, then a nap, 3 p.m. bottle followed by a fruit puree, then a nap, 7 p.m. bottle followed by a multigrain cereal, a nap, 11 p.m. a bottle, and you can mix a little bit of cereal into that as long as your doctor thinks this is a good idea. Mine did. At a seven month old checkup, Bracey weighed 6.3 kilos or 13.86 pounds. He's much more interactive and is beginning to sit up even for a few seconds on his own. He's babbling at us Hi. nonstop. He's Hi. turning over from tummy to back and he's starting to look as if he wants to turn from his back to his tummy because we see him sort of going like this, although he's not quite there yet. He really enjoys playing with his siblings. He enjoys books. He enjoys being walked around the apartment, bouncing up and down in his bouncy seat, eating his solid foods, and he's generally just having a wonderful time hanging out in the house with all of his wonderful older siblings. He's breastfeeding and eating really well and sleeping from about 11 o'clock at night to as late as nine, and we've even had some 10 a.m. mornings. Go Bracy, and thank you so much for giving mommy that added little extra bit of rest. All in all, it's been a complete joy to have this little baby in our household. None of us would have traded the experience for anything in the world. It's been an absolutely miraculous thing to see my older children bond with this baby and all the responsibility they've been learning through taking care of him has been wonderful. Thank you so much for watching cloudmom.com and see you guys next month for month eight. Thank you.